Welcome back to my Let's Play for Infinite Space. And I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. We don't need to go back to um, the security agency just yet. We need to go back, you know, to find Selena in one of these question areas. So, you know, I'm just going to go around Zante if I have to to try and find her. Because <sighs> eventually she'll pop up, you know, if you visit them enough. Ooh, no escape, huh? Well, there's only one response to that. Blowing the crap out of them. And did they, like, miss or were their weapons too weak despite having that many ships? Because that's kind of disappointing, man. Oh, well, they're trying to back away. Come on, don't back away now. I want to play. Let's shoot them. Because I'm guessing they're going to try and get out of dodge. I mean, that would be my suggestion. When you're this horribly outnumbered, just run away. You gotta be like, you know, the irresponsible Captain Tyler. You just gotta try and run. You always win if you just run away, right? At least you do according to Captain Tyler. Yeah, this might take a few tries. Slay doesn't always like to, you know, just show up right away just because you're looking for her. She's a busy woman, man. Yuri, there it is! Selena's? Yep, that's it, without question. Alright, I'm going to talk to her this time. Kira, open up a line. Roger. What, Roger, Roger? Gosh darn it. We gotta talk about Star Wars The Clone Wars now? She really is ignoring us. This isn't getting us anywhere. Here, let me do this, kiddo. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, no, you can hear us, Selena. Get on the horn right now, or I start blabbing all your secrets. <laughs> what secrets they are, I'd like to know them. That voice, that vulgar manner of speaking. Nia, could that be you? Of course it's me. Come on now, Selena. Gotta talk to you face to face. Alright, fine. I'll go to your ship. Why not just use the view screen? Well, I guess she did say face to face. Pull up next to her ship, kiddo. Okay, but how do you know Selena, Nia? Well, you know how it is. It's a long, long, long story that I don't want to get into. Ever. <laughs> Inquiring minds would like to know. And yes, that's her manservant. I like the crossbones. Ooh, those look big. Yes, yes it is. I don't say I'm a can't say I'm a big fan of the hair. The headband's all right though. I don't know. The the hair just looks like it goes up too far. Makes her head looks like it's the back of an alien or something, you know. Never thought I'd see you on this kind of crew on this kind of ship. You're always full of surprises, Nia. Well, you know how it is. Long story. I'm kind of helping this kid out. Yep, I'm Yuri, the captain. Well, well, so this is your plaything of the hour, is it? Your tastes have changed, my dear. Nani? What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. Or is it? Oh, fine, whatever. So you said you want to talk to me, then talk. So that's it, is it? Fiora must be really hard up, but they actually think I agree to a deal like that? Well... But guess what? I'm going to do it! You... you will? Are you serious, Captain? It's a good opportunity to get onto the prison plan, don't you think? Nikitas? Oh, very good thinking, madam. Wait a minute, you crappy little wits. Just what are you up to? Just a little bit of fun. Anyway, take me to the security agency. I've prepared to be arrested. What? They arrest me and send me to the prison planet. That's the deal I want. But... What could she be thinking? Who knows, but those are her terms. We want her to help wipe out the Kratos pirates. Say so we take her to the security agency fast before she changes her mind, kiddo. I guess you're right. Oh, of course, Captain. He is a distinguished gentleman, after all. Like I said, he is her manservant. Very loyal, too. 
which we'll find out later on, doesn't break even under torture. He's just that kind of manservant. Unquestionably loyal. Now to take care of our enemies, if I can just close the gap. Man, I might want to upgrade my ship's engines at this rate. I can. I can upgrade them to a slightly better level, but then I have to remodel everything else around that. And that takes time and money. Remodeling ships ain't cheap, kids. It costs a lot of hard-earned capital, and I don't want to go around you know, blowing ships up for hours to pay for upgrades at the moment. I suppose it wouldn't be that bad, for the most part, but yeah. It's a pain-in-the-butt investment. Okay. Oh, well, they have, have they? Well, now, what should we improve? Um, I will go with gauge speed. Yep. Having a faster gauge is always useful. Now, let's take the elevator down, go, um, talk to, um, the leader of the security agency, and, you know, be like, yeah, we got Selena, all right. What a surprise, and he actually managed to bring Selena herself right here to Vioria. Couldn't quite convince her to come into the security agency yet, though she's hiding on the ship. What do you suppose she wants on the prison plant, though? Who knows? We asked her a million times, but she wouldn't cough up her reasons. But I'm thinking, maybe. Has something to do with old Kraos, who was thrown there a year ago, right? Exactly. Anyway, knowing her, she's gonna have a trick or two up her sleeve. Just a trick or two? She's one of the most infamous space pirates out there. I assume she has, like, a dozen plus tricks up her sleeve. She's always got a plan. And some of them are quite crazy. And give you a whole no another reason for why she's called the Merciless Night Queen. It's not just her ship. Commander, we have no idea what Selena's plotting. Do you think we should rethink this whole thing? Oh, don't worry. I'll go with her. Make sure she doesn't try anything too crazy. I know, I could be her underling, even though the idea of it kind of ticks me off. You want to go into the prison with Selena? Yep, you know, make her keep up her end of the bargain. But... You can't do that. It's a prison plan. Anything could happen to you there. <sighs> You're always right, and the prison plan isn't your average prison plant either. Even though it's part of the judiciary system, it's completely cut off from the outside world. We get very little information about what actually goes on inside there, actually. Yeah, I know, I said actually twice. But if I don't see to it that Selena keeps her promises, you aren't going to be able to take down old Kratos, right? And that means we won't be able to get to Tina and find out more about those epitaphs. But, look, you're not going to get anywhere if you let little things like this set you back, are you? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a risky plan to begin with. Now I've come this far, I don't see any alternative to doing as Selena is suggesting. Ensign Pappas, how long will the paper take to get them incarcerated? There's no shortage of criminal charges we can bring Selena up on, so we should be able to get the papers together right away. Alright then, Pappas, you serve as the... Escort and take Selena near to the prison plant, and then I want you to stay there on the prison plant and give me a report every 24 hours on the dot. And I mean on the dot. If you're even a minute late, I'll have your job. Yes, sir, I'll take these two in my ship, but what will the rest of you do? You can't really come with us all the way to the prison plant, after all. I'm still a little freaked out about all this, so we'll go with you as far as we can. Fine, we'll ship out as soon as you're ready, then. Yeah, you and Selena moved to my ship. Gotcha. Darn it! I still haven't placed Rhea yet. Oh well. Time to head out, you know. Well, now we've done that. We should, let's see. Proceed to the upper left area. And three for a scene. Oh. We gotta go somewhere else to get to the prison plant, yeah. That means going this way, because this connects to the prison planet, way over here. Yep, it's in the middle of the space boonies in this sector. <sighs> no escape, really? 
Who wants to be in a cage with me, man? you think most people would look at this fleet of ships and be like, you know, they're probably not worth screwing with. Like, just look at how powerful those ships are. The only thing that stands on model chance is that thing. That's only because it gets lucky sometimes with my shots. Well, that's over. Well, that's what you get when you mess with the best. Yeah, I know I'm not up there yet. I need more powerful ships first. Well, this is as far as we can go. Okay. Yep, that's the defense system. What is this? It's the Oort Interception System. I guess they stole that from the Oort Cloud. Damn you, game, that was lazy. It's a defense system that seals off the prison planet from the rest of the world. So, this is a system your boyfriend designed, Rhea? That's right. It's a perpetually operating combination of observation and auto attack systems. If anyone tries to get through without permission, they'll be annihilated in only seconds. Very impressive. They aren't taking any chances, are they? Anyway, this is as far as you can go. I'll take it from here. Oh, I wouldn't let anything happen to such a lovely young lady. And besides, I get a distinct impression that she can take care of herself just fine. You got that right. But now we gotta go waste some time, you know, visiting various, um, space docks. There they go. I don't know, I still don't like this. Yep, you're second guessing now. Yeah. Still don't like it, though. <sighs> Welcome to my prison. I'm the prison warden here. I'm Ensign Pappas of the Security Sector Agency. Um, the Anti Pirate Division, obviously. Here to escort these two prisoners. Welcome, welcome, and look what we have here. Two lovely young ladies. Hey, my face is up here, buddy. Don't expect him to look at your faces. I mean, look at him. He's purple. He's obviously a creep. Mm, such beauties, and two of them. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, female prisoners, they really are the best prisoners. Um, Warden? Don't you just love those words? Female prisoners, such a nice ring to it you can make them do anything you want oh uh, never mind so I hear you'll be staying a week or so yourself will you that's right we have to take every precaution we can with an infamous pirate like this one yes just yes, absolutely I understand completely I'll have a room raid for you right away I do hope you enjoy your stay yeah obviously evil warden is evil I mean, come on. He's practically licking his lips already. Oh yeah, we gotta stop here. Well, time to go get busy. By going to uh, another planet and then departing, because we gotta dock a bunch of times in order to get a scene. I think we can go through there, maybe, but maybe not. I mean, we were given permission to go through the blockade earlier. Yeah, I guess we can maybe still get through. We'll see. I mean, obviously I can't get through the spider web, but that's a small problem. But we're working on sorting out. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's depart. Let's go to a different planet. I, I like variety, you know, in my planets here. Just because I gotta spend time going to various planets doesn't mean I can't, you know, visit multiple planets instead of going to the same one like three times. Or back and forth like a lazy idiot, you know? Enemy. Well, let's blast them. Finish them off, please. Thank you. The real problem is, you know, I wish we could buy a base so we could launch some ships. Ah, uh, a scene. We gotta visit three more places. It's been three days already. How are we gonna keep hanging around like this? What, are you bored, my dear? 
Now I just fear we ought to have enough of a handle on the routine by now. <laughs> I see your point. Well, you say we take a little walk, then. Where to? The control building. If old Kratos is here, that's where I think he'd be. With this, Selena Solis pulls out a hair from her head, spits on it, and inserts it into the lock panel. Yep. Detonation cord. Not too shabby a nitro string, huh? So you're still up to your old tricks. You have to love how she keeps explosives in her hair and thinks that's a good idea. Still no word from Ensign Pappas? Looks that way. Security agency still hasn't tried to contact us, though. <sighs> you have, huh? Trust, it's been three whole days already! Something's got to be wrong. Ensign Pappas was supposed to make a report every 24 hours. Yuri? Yelling at Kira isn't going to help anything. I know you're worried about Nia, but please try to calm down and stop with all the yelling. I am calm, and I'm not yelling! You so are. You're the captain, so you better start acting like one, you hear? Or I'm gonna put you over my lap. Oh, boy. Well, time to move on. Boom. Well, time to visit Fioria. What? We're gonna visit, like, every plant in the sector. That's what we do. And then we'll probably hit up Theory after this. Because it's the only place I haven't really been besides Zante. <sighs> well, let's head out to Theria. We're gonna bounce right back. And we're on our way. Through space. Here, I'm getting a communication from Commander. I don't know, really? Patch me through to him right away. Captain Yuri, this is Celia, so the security se sector security agency. Kind of strong, I always get their name messed up, don't I? Commander, have you heard from Ensign Pappas yet? Is Nia all right? So I wanted to talk to you about. Fred Pappas hasn't reported in once. Not even once? How can this be? You told him every 24 hours. I know. We're applying for a permit to investigate from the Justice Bureau now. How long is that going to take? I don't know, but we're trying to get to them in a hurry. Anyway, I want to let you know the situation as it stands. I'll give you another update as soon as I can. Hey, wait a minute! I have more questions! Damn it! He's gone already. What do you think happened to him? I don't know, but it's starting to look like we better come with our own plan. Got any ideas? Yeah, I do. Let's talk in the tavern. Yep, we're gonna hit up a bar. And make a plan, because all the best plans are made while you're drunk. Yeah, there are too many things going on with the prison plant that just don't add up. Wouldn't you agree? Like what? Well, first of all, the fact that even though their leader, Kratos himself, is presently incarcerated, the Kratos pirates continue to flourish. And then Selina volunteers herself to be thrown in there. There's something very strange going on, if you ask me. True, but without more solid proof... I know, but even the security agency knows that something's fishy. That's why they went along with Selena's suggestion without questioning it. What we need is some kind of solid evidence that something strange is going on. It's not like you have a plan. I do, and it's simple. All I have to do is ask a Kratos pirate. How are we supposed to do that? We grab one of them and make them talk, of course. All I have to do is get into a melee bell, and once we're on board the enemy ship, we capture someone. Preferably high-ranking. And then we torture the answer out of them. What do glasses have to do with anything? What, you think glasses make you smart? Man, you're dumb, Yuri. Glasses don't make you smart. Smart people just like wearing glasses, okay? Now let's get back to work here. <laughs> We're gonna head over to Zante to try and find some high-ranking pirates, because that's where they all hang out, after all. So let's get to it, people. Yeah, we can't take any of these ships. We're looking for a much bigger fleet. A fleet comprised of, you know, more formidable ships, too. Man, this is going to take longer than I thought. Enemy. Well, let's blow them up. Enemy. And keep on moving. We got to keep on trucking. We got to get to our destination. 
but everyone wants to stop us because these pirates are crazy fools. I don't even have holds and they're still attacking me. I'm like not even carrying cargo besides, you know, basic supplies. And you can get those at like any dock. Like it doesn't matter who you are, they'll they'll let you dock your ship. They don't care. Because the all the spaceports are automated. So you know there's no people in them or anything. It's just robots. And the robots don't care who you are. They're like, yeah, we just service everyone. Got no free will, that's just our job. We we service whoever shows up. Well, let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Well, let's get into melee range. Screw everything else, let's just try and close in the gap in melee. Like, I'm not even going to bother blowing up any of the other ships. Oh yeah. Sweet maneuver there. And it's time to get in for the melee. Come on, stop trying to run away. And let's fight! 1800 versus 1800, go! I think I got the advantage, though. I mean, I only have an attack power of 219. Even if they try and fight back, they can only kill 10. And that's when they have tactical advantage on me. Well, that that wasn't um, particularly impressive. I'll give them credit, they got 65 out of 1,800. It's not very good. Do we do it? Do we capture a pirate? Sure did, boss. This one's apparently one of the big ways. Come on, you. I must be losing my style. Can't believe I let a bunch of little brats like you get a hold of me. Where are you right now? Nobody's going to get old Tez right here to talk. Oh, you think? Well, I got a plasma blade that says otherwise. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of threat, kid? I promise you, I don't make threats. I make promises. I have somebody I care about is on the line. That's why you're going to tell me right here and now. Everything you know about the prison plant, do you understand? Don't make me laugh. You really think a child's threats... Yeah, that was... My good arm! What are you, crazy? Oh, I told you, the life of someone I care about is on the line. Now for your other arm. But that was my painting hand! You're nuts! Somebody lock this kid up! I'm gonna keep cutting you until you start talking. Should I aim for your groin area next? Or you prefer the legs? So we can work up to that sweet, sweet scream of agony when I castrate you. Yep. Wait, wait. I'll talk, I'll talk. Just stop already. Well, that was easier than I thought it'd be. Apparently the old man doesn't have, you know, much resistance to, you know, even basic torture. That's right. As far as the Captain Kratos is concerned, Prison Plan is like a safe little vacation gateway for him. And we get plenty of money flown into from all the people we nab and send over there. That's why we always have enough G to do whatever we want. Human trafficking is your source of capital? How does the people get sent there? Gross, I don't know all the details, kid. They say that when there's a bunch of them stored up, they get sent to some other domain. Or something like that. I guess he said Dominion. But, yeah, we're gonna have to go after them there. Yeah, our, our work is not done. We're going to get dragged into that human trafficking trade, too. Yeah, basically. Trust, we got to get Nia and the others out of there fast. I agree. Let's take our um informant to the security agency. With him as our proof, they'll have to move on this immediately. Plus, if they don't take him off our hands pretty soon, I'm probably going to murder him. Though I'll just call it self-defense if that's what we do to him, okay? I, I never said, you know, he had to be actually trying to escape for it to count as self-defense or attacking us, you know? I can quite easily rewrite history when it comes to a pirate. Especially one that, you know, has information we need to rescue Nia. Well, I guess we do need him alive. For now. Lucky son of a gun. Well, we made it to the planet, all right. Well, we're going to stop here for now. Next time, we'll um, continue our mission. 
And we're gonna have to take on the prison plant, which is gonna end up being a bit of a pain, though. I think we're gonna have to stop by, um, Theria first. Gosh darn it. Until next time, then. See ya.